Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. So this is the video from where we are going to the next steps and we are focusing on main game. And uh, the last video was uh, on the understanding the main concept of uh, concept of UFE. And from this video we are going to focus on the main uh, game of our uh, project. So here you can see that uh, when you will open the UFE because we have the source project we are using the source template it will not be included in the light template so here in the source now when you will import the source template you will see that we have the 2D fighter we also have the 3D arena and uh, if you will open this 3D arena scene let's play it and let's see how it will look like and <clears throat> the main things are uh, usually the same the menus etc and here you can see that uh, we don't have uh, and much more characters and uh, we have only seen the prefab so for example we open this arena you can see that we can move around in the 3d space and then we can uh, fight and it's a very nice uh, uh, it's very nice uh, you can see uh, the scene over here for the 3d arena and uh, also we have one more section here for the 3d fighter and uh, here in the 3d fighter uh, if you will open the demo uh, fighter 3d it has two type of uh, fighters uh, one is for type 2 and one is for type 1 so we will definitely choose uh, one type and then we will move further with that type uh, and we will follow along so let's test these two types and uh, if for example we uh, like first one then we will move uh, further with the first one and I have added the these custom character as well which we have created and if you have the custom character for example uh, which you have already created for the 2d it will also work for this type of games as well okay so here you can see it's uh, perfectly working and it's not just like the 3d arena it's like uh, uh, you can say the taken seven type style game and uh, where it, these characters can uh, turn around in the 3d environment uh, but not too much like arena okay so this is also good but uh, for the jump i think we have certain key for this because it's not jumping out yeah i think j is the key for the jump yeah so j is the game uh, for the jump and other keys are fine so now this was nice and now we will check out the type 2 let's see uh, how it will act and then we will move further and we will choose out the best option so let's try it again so yeah this is the type 2 but i think this is not good because it's not facing the character from the front and it's facing the character from uh, like third person view like that and uh, which i personally don't like for the uh, 3d fighter games so that's fine so we'll choose this type of one thing okay and uh, when you will double click on this type one you can see that uh, this scene also have the ufe manager and uh, definitely for the final build we don't need 2d fighter and uh, uh, we can just go here and we can just uh, delete that 2d fighter from here demo scene if you don't want it and uh, definitely we have 3d fighter type is there we can enable it and uh, we can enable it as well the other related to type 1 uh, scenes so let's uh, delete this thing uh, from the build settings 
and uh, also the uh, 2D type 2D and also graveyard scene we don't need it and uh, we have the training zoom 3D only here we can enable it like this and uh, now hopefully if we play everything will be fine before moving further we will just test it out okay so for some reason we can't see the ethan uh, maybe we have some issues with that so again i will run it out and i will test it out with the other two characters just for the purpose uh, okay and this one and yeah now it's fine okay okay that's great so let's move further and <coughs> the first thing is to create a 3d scene how we can do that so similarly like uh, we have created the scene for the 2d we have the uh, stages for the 3d as well okay here you can see we have the prefab and uh, definitely you can customize the prefab as well and this prefab is only the uh, this you can see a cylinder and uh, if you will uh, just uh, <coughs> instantiate this prefab or any other prefab the surroundings uh, the environment will be spawned from this uh, scene okay so this scene so this scene is important so if we double click on this scene you can see that uh, this is a scene with a training prefab and uh, this has a sky box and everything is there uh, but uh, there is nothing special I think we have directional lights and we only have this uh, thing this uh, <coughs> cylinder and uh, our characters will fight inside this cylinder if we uh, I think our character will fight inside the cylinder hopefully because uh, yeah because when we play the 3d game you can see that we have the surrounding walls like this so i think for some reason we can't see this uh, mesh here due to the unity layout issues so we can go to layout to reset our layout to just for uh, the purpose and then if we move inside yeah see that uh, I don't know why can't move inside okay inside and we can't see the surrounding walls here but uh, anyhow no issue uh, we can uh, this uh, training prefab is on 0 y minus 10 and 0 so definitely we can select and we can hide this mesh and we will place our own environment so uh, this is not a, a big issue so uh, let's uh, create our first 3d scene i think from the next video we'll uh, start creating a 3d scene because this video is quite lengthy so let's uh, meet in next video goodbye